Hey everyone, we're back at The Witcher 3. Uh, it's been a while since my last play session. In the meantime, I've installed a new patch. 1.0.4, I want to say? Yeah, 1.0.4. Uh, it says that it... <laughs> There's no papers in this thing. Oh, there they are. Uh, it says improves some stability issues. Uh, I haven't had a lot of stability issues since I uh, installed 1.0.3. So, that's good. Increased stability on something that was already stable. Uh, the Sharpers, a Gwent playing society based at Crow's Perch, is looking for new members and opponents. Experience preferred, but we also school newcomers. For more information, okay. Talk to the Bloody Baron, huh? Fist fights. Any man who wants to test his manliness by slugging it out in the ring, come see us. Cool. And the contracts. The Shrieker. Let it hereby known that whoever kills the Shrieker, the monster that wove its near nest near Crow's Perch, and has taken to killing both men and beasts will be given a sizable reward. Very well. If you haven't heard, we have raced horses around here. Anyone who wants to join? I want to join. Okay, so just got a bunch of new quests. Oh, this game is so easy to get lost in. Okay, so what do we want to do? Let's go to the quest tracker. On the main quest, we're finding uh, the family, the Baron's family, which I think is what we should go for since we're level 6 and we're going to level up pretty, pretty soon. And... Um, Probably this will unlock new quests, both of these, and we'll catch up with the level pretty fast. But I see some lower level quests like Series Room. I haven't examined Series Room? Are you kidding me? I was in there. And the Shrieker contract is actually, uh... We can get it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Alright. Let's, let's check out series room. What? How the hell did I miss that? Um, we also have the quest that we got at the end of the last episode, which was uh, the, 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 the armor thing. Must be weird for you guys, because uh, I just released an episode today, and now I'm releasing a second episode. But the time that uh, it's taken me to play this game between those two was immense. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Okay, is this Siri's room? So Siri was here. Cool. What's that? A spinning top. Gritka's toy. And the clothes. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. And is there a diary? The Natural Obscurity of Curses. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Breedevort. Where'd Siri get this? Let's check it out. That's the quests that we just got. Oh, I need the item to complete the quest? Okay. Whoever thinks curses are only ever manifestations of one being's ill will towards another is sorely mistaken. Shockingly commonplace are reports of curses cast unwittingly on oneself or on objects. Okay. In many cases, they lead to harm or even death of the person afflicted by the curse or of the people spending time with the object are being... Okay, so is is the spinning wheel cursed? Right. Yeah. Hmm. A dedication to the Baron and his wife. Seems they have friends in high places in Vizima. Of course they do. Let's talk to Gre Gretka. So you're Gretka. I am. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. <laughs> what else? You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. It's so confusing that <laughs> the hair is always, always flowing. Uh, what friend of hers? Siri wanted to help a friend. Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Mm. Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Okay. Do you know where she is? Do you know where Siri is? No. 
one day I brought her breakfast and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. <laughs> but Siri left me a gift. Okay. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Let me see the green star. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well. Don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Alright. Take care. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Sure. Sure you are. Alright. Witches or the Baron's family? I think the Baron's family. The Baron seems to have information to give us. And uh, we don't really know what to do with the witches. Not yet. I guess we'll let the world map decide. Right? So, the family. Or rather, the witches. Fuck. Every time. The witches are there, on the bog. That's quite the distance. And uh, the family... I start by searching over there. Okay, yeah. Let's go with the family first. Horsey! Come on, Roach. Let's get out of here. Hey yeah. That's it, Roach. Can you follow the road? Automatically? Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay. Oh, why did you stop? Come on, come on. Turn. Uh, I had to Whoa. manually do it. Nice. So good at opening doors. So, they fixed performance, but the game is still not running at um, 60 frames per second. Is usually fluctuating a lot between 60 and 50. If I stand still, it will go up to 60. If I'm not... Why the fuck do you keep stopping, man? Come on. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, if I if I stand still, it will go to 60. If, I, if I'm moving, especially in the rain, it will drop to 50. It's at a stable 50 frames per second right now. They said they improved the uh, hair works. Performance on hair works uh, on this latest patch. So I might try that out, but... I kind of don't want to, because the game's still not running at 60, even with the uh, hair works turned off. So. Improved performance. Stability is good since the uh, 1.0.3, but performance needs needs more improvements. Alright, here we are. Not yet. Come on! There's the hut. Okay, I can't, can't. Why'd you try shortcuts? What? What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got Dibs on a chat with him. A long one. You need to leave. Think you need to leave now. Do we? You do. Well, let's go then. Yeah. The force works. I wonder if uh, it God worked because a man who could get Hendrick's friends all worked up. <laughs> I wonder if uh, it worked on all of them because I've been leveling up Axie. If I, I I wasn't leveling it up, if I could only use it on one, and it would uh, trigger a fight like it did last time. That's interesting. Hey, anybody That's home? That's very interesting. Open up, it's safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Ooh, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, though not old. Tis he the Peller awaits. Mm-hmm. Recognize this? Made of spruce wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. From what? So, designed to protect her. From what? Oh, the, the uh, besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. 
Old magic born of oblivion from dark sources emerged. Makes old sense, magic. old man. Can you be more specific? It is not for mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. I'm looking for her. Anna and her daughter are missing. Know where they are? Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur, the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. Long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost, lost, must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? <laughs> princess! My goat! Okay. He's fled! <laughs> oh, you gotta His find a goat now. Off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat, impossible. No goat, <laughs> won't work. <sighs> Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess, <laughs> princess, where have you got to, girl? Sorry. Fine, I'll get your goat. The bell, <laughs> the little bell's ringing. She loves it. Ring, ring, and she will follow. But for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. <laughs> uh, new quest item. I gotta equip it. Is it quests? No. Oh, it's right there. It's already equipped. Alright. Let's search for the goat. It's sure to make some noise, right? Oh, there it is. Wolves. Oh god. Didn't see you there. Oh man. There you are. Oh, what? Did they just despawn? Because I found Princess. Princess. Come on. Hoofed and horned. Should have known it would be stubborn. Alright, time to try the bell. Uh -huh. Come on, let's go see the peller. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Oh, uh, yeah. On, My thoughts exactly. Really love this character, but this quest design is questionable. Fucking goat, come back! Where the hell did you go? Oh come on! Oh! Bear, bear, run you stupid piece of shit! Oh man! Fire! Come on. And kill it. Alright. I am powerful. Stupid goat. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? Come on. Mm hmm. She's coming. She's coming. Huh? Oh. Come on, goats. Princess, flee not from the pillar for there are wolves about. Okay. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat.
<laughs> Let's do this. Can we talk about Anna and Tamara now? Know where they might be? Blood. We need blood. A living being. <laughs> the goats. Fine. Be right back. Man. Does that work? Will this do? Well, that didn't help much. A child that lives not, yet did not die. I mean, yeah. You mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was. And she miscarried. Hmm. Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful, or perhaps he had no wish to remember. The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind, but Princess came and licked her hand. So what? She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. And what happened to the child? What happened to the child? In a grave thrown, without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders. Oh, another vengeance. spectre. A botchling. Oh, botchling. White wolf. Okay. Wise wolf. Catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Huh. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't help. Tis a being cursed, and witches lift curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred blood. That sounds like more my thing. Do you know where the botchling Whatever is? Whatever I do, I gotta find the botchling first. Seek it at midnight, near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Huh. Yeah, I've read about uh, the botchlings, I want to say. They're uh, cursed ones. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. But I, I've seen his picture. Why is it blacked out all of a sudden? Okay, Axie. They're, they're vulnerable to Axie. That's my best spell. I'm not scared at all. Uh, switch. Let's go to the Baron. Hey, yeah. This trip is gonna get old really fast. Oh, hello. Two points. What? What are you doing? Oh, come on. Let's spend the two points. Um, let's fully upgrade that. I kind of want that as well. Yeah, but I have no space to equip it. Let's just fully upgrade the Igni sign. And further upgrade the Quen. Yeah. I don't use Quen enough. Should use it more often. Oh. Don't bump into things. Stop bumping into things, idiot. Lightning strike. Where? 
Where? I didn't see it. Okay. If we're just saying random things now, it's, it's fine. I didn't know we were playing that game. Hang on. Whoa there, Roach. Didn't we just go past it? Oh no, this is a broken bridge. All right. That's it, Roach. The GPS was correct. Again. Oh. Oh no, 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 and you fucked up. God damn it, Roach. Faster. Yeah. All right. Now we go. Out of the way. Hey there. Castle's on fire? Holy shit! No! Holy shit! Mm. Let's get to the Baron. Oh, are, are you are you serious? The door is closed now? No. God. Roach! You stupid useless horse! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Holy crap. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. Ah, uh, gotta be the good guy, Hurry don't now, I? Quick. <sighs> well, this is a fucking first. Come on. Damn it! Won't budge. Probably bolted on the inside. Need another way in. There, 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 there. Arch. Probably bolted on the inside. You said that already. Way in. Pounds of smoke. Gotta hurry. Ugh. Nice jump. I can't. I can't. I can't. Can I jump this? Can I jump anything? Horses. We're about we're about to run away. Somehow. My breath. My breath is going. Oh man, I'm so dead. Go on. I'm dead. I'm gone. Yep, I don't even know where it saved last time. Open the gate, main gate to the stables. Huh. Now you better have saved at the cutscene. God, I hate the save system. Okay, okay, not that bad, not that bad. Go on. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Keep going forward, keep going forward. Keep going forward, you useless Let's go. fucking god damn it. I didn't stop running, for those wondering. I kept on going. The, the horse stopped, and now it's slowed down for no reason. It's so fucking clunky. Come on now. Alright. Can we skip this now? Skip. 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 I'll try. See what I can do. Hurry now! Yeah. It's uh hard. Up we go. Lights of smoke. Gotta hurry. One. Let's open the main door. Where's the main door, though? Is it here? 
I can't, I can't open this. Okay. It wasn't as hard as I thought. And I didn't have to open the, the doors for every single horse. Look at that. <laughs> We've a hero in our midst. The horses. Why, I'm prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Is he really fighting? Okay, he is really fighting. They ran from him, didn't they? I can't. Come on, come closer. I can't. I can't do signs. Why can't I do signs? I'm a bloody witcher. Okay, that's a parry. And that's another parry. Alright. That felt kind of good. <laughs> Guess I don't have to find his family anymore. His family is... Good. Far away from him. I just need information Sit about Siri. Down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Uh... Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I. It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. <sighs> all right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. <sighs> what happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless. On bloody sheets. Dead. And it was my doing. Mm. Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. 
My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet Anna wore could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Where? Just like that? Damn Where? you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. Oh, what? what? <laughs> I've been supporting you so far. <laughs> but here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. Why what? am I still helping him? How? Why? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into fucking what? <laughs> yeah, you don't need Details to know. you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's dead. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever where we is do, it? we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her. And I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Let's go. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. Mm. That and works. try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? So dig up the grave. Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. What? A bit further. Follow me. Well, I guess that's where we, we where <laughs> forgot how to speak. That's where we end the episode. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys on Monday. Bye-bye.